Sean Kelly Reviews, Love Lies Bleeding, read from my written review, published on March 14th, 2024. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Love Lies Bleeding is co-written and directed by Rose Glass and stars Kristen Stewart, Katie O'Brien, Ed Harris, Jenna Malone, Anna Barishnikov, and Dave Franco. A gym manager falls for a bodybuilder in Love Lies Bleeding. Lou is a manager of a gym trying to escape her past relationship with her gun smuggler father and beetle enthusiast, Lou Sr. Despite her estrangement from her father, Lou still maintains a relationship with her sister Beth, who's in an abusive relationship with her husband, JJ. Lou becomes enamored with bodybuilder Jackie, who is passing through on her way to a competition in Las Vegas. The two soon begin a passionate affair that is soon disrupted by a horrible event. Love Lies Bleeding is the sophomore feature film from co-writer and director Rose Glass and is a quite trashy 1980s set queer exploitation thriller. The film introduces us to the protagonist Lou as she is cleaning toilets and rebutting the advances of the clingy Daisy. Lou's attention soon turns to Jackie, played by Katie O'Brien, an incredibly jacked woman passing through town on the way to a bodybuilding championship in Las Vegas. Lou injects Jack with her stash of steroids causing some unnatural muscle growth and the two begin a passionate love affair as Jackie trains for the competition. However, Lou's past of working for her crime lord father begins to catch up with her when the FBI begins smithing around the gym. In addition, Jackie reveals herself to have an incredibly violent temper and goes to extremes to protect Lou and her sister Beth after the latter is hospitalized. This results in Lou having to confront both her past and her father. Despite being set in 1989, Rose Glass's sophomore feature is very much an exploitation film that would feel right at home in the 1970s grindhouse circuit. Apart from the lesbian sex scenes, extreme violence, and rampant steroid use, Love Lies Bleeding demonstrates its trashy nature later in the film when Ed Harris's Lou Sr. sporting one hell of a skullet expresses his anger by grabbing one of the horned beetles he keeps as pets and eats it in a single bite. This one moment demonstrates that Love Lies Bleeding isn't a film that should be taken too seriously. While she has played a variety of roles since coming out as bisexual in 2017, ranging from GT, JT Leroy to Crimes of the Future, Love Lies Bleeding is arguably a film that sees Kristen Stewart fully embrace her modern queer identity as her character of Lou is androgynous in both name and appearance. This stands in contrast with Katie O'Brien in a breakout role, who is quite a feminine character as Jackie despite being incredibly muscular. Love Lies Bleeding includes a fantastical element where Jackie, fueled by the steroids she has been taking, experiences Hulk-like muscle growth whenever she is under duress. Jackie's hulking out leads to a scene of extreme violence, the end result of which is probably more gory than the casual viewer of the film might expect. This moment also marks the film's transition from being a lesbian romance to a crime th thriller as Lou has to go into damage control to try and save Jackie from her actions. This all builds towards a final confrontation between Lou and her father. I won't exactly call Love Lies Bleeding a sophomore slump for Rose Glass, but it does end up being somewhat less memorable than her religious horror of her 2019 debut, Saint Maud. That said, both Christian Stewart and Katie O'Brien give notable performances with Love Lies Bleeding being likely the film that puts the latter on the radar. Now if I can just get an answer to whose idea was it to give Ed Harris a skullet. I give the film three stars. <laughs>